Today we are going to be adding and subtracting story problems. In these story problems, we are going to use a strategy called the three read strategy. This strategy is going to help us understand the story problem and what it is asking us to do. I've covered up the question in this story problem for right now and we'll uncover it at the very end. We're gonna read this problem three different times looking for three different things. So I've drawn a triple T chart to help me capture my thinking. So the first time we read this problem, I want us thinking about the situation. What is this situation about? So I've drawn a thought bubble and we're gonna write down all the things that we know about the situation in this column. So let's read it. John has 76 Legos. He is going to build a tower that uses 44 Legos. What is this situation about? I know it is about Legos. I also know that John wants to build a tower, a Lego tower. So that's the first time I've read it. I'm thinking, what is this situation about? So now I'm gonna read it a second time. But the second time I read it, I want to think about the quantities or the numbers in this problem. So I'm gonna do a number symbol and we're gonna write down any information we see about the quantities in this problem here. Let's read it again. John has 76 Legos. He is going to build a tower that uses 44 Legos. So I see that he has 76 Legos. That's one quantity, 76. I also see that he is using 44 Legos for a tower. 44 is the second quantity. quantity. So there are two quantities, 76 and 44. So now we're gonna read this problem one more time. The next time that we read this problem, we are looking at what are some questions they could ask me about this situation. So in this third column, I'm putting a question mark because we're gonna brainstorm what questions could be under this green sheet of paper? What questions could they ask me about this situation? Let's read it again. John has 76 Legos. He is going to build a tower that uses 44 Legos. What questions could they ask me? Well, they could ask me how many Legos are left. They could also ask me how many more Legos does he need to build two towers? I'm sure there's some other questions they could ask me, but I'm just going to think of some right now. So I've read this problem three different times. The first time I looked to see what is this about. The second time I looked at the quantities in the situation. And the third time I brainstormed how, what kind of questions they might ask me about this situation. So now let's solve the problem. I've uncovered the question and let's read it again. John has 76 Legos. He is going to build a tower that uses 44 Legos. How many Legos will he have left after he builds his tower? I was thinking about that question right here. So I know that I'm gonna be adding or subtracting. Adding means to combine or join. Subtraction means to take away or compare. So I need to think about in this problem, if I wanna figure out how many Legos he will have left after he builds his tower, am I combining Legos or am I taking away Legos? One equation that I could use to represent this problem is 76 Legos. If he uses 44 for his tower, how many are left? I think I could subtract. I could take away 44 away from his 76 to figure out how many are left. Another related one is if I know that how many he builds with his tower and how many are left is how many he has combined with Legos, I could think addition. I could think about 
He's got his pile of Legos for his tower. He's got his pile that are left over. And in total, they are 76 total Legos. So I could think addition if I wanted to do it that way. I'm gonna choose to subtract. So I know when I subtract, I've got 76 all Legos total, 76 total Legos, and I'm going to use 44 for my tower, so I'm gonna see how many are left. So let's use one of the strategies that we've been doing. Let's do our ones and our tens, and I'm gonna represent 76. Now I'm going to take away 44. So I'm gonna take away four ones first. That leaves me with two ones, and I'm gonna take away 40, because I took away four already. So 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. I am left with three tens, which is 30. 30 plus two, is 32. So how many Legos will he have left after he builds his tower? He will have 32 Legos left. I could check my work by seeing, does 32 make sense to go where the question mark was? 44 plus 32 does equal 76. 44 plus 32 equals 76, and 76 minus 44 does equal 32. So today, you are going to solve addition and subtraction story problems. I want you to practice reading the problem three different times, looking for three different things, what we think about the situation, the quantities in the situation, and the questions that could be asked. And then I want you to solve the situation with an equation and find the answer.